everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I was looking back through my old um, videos that I've got stored and i done this card very similar for a hobby base um, tutorial and I don't believe it was ever posted onto my YouTube channel. So I thought I would do one and upload it onto YouTube. So this is a circle easel card. They are so easy to make and you, you can do these without even having a scoreboard you don't need like a trimmer they're just really kind of very easy cards to do with little supplies you need a dye machine or you can use your cutting circles as well so again you may not even need to use dies but I've used the first edition botanical paper pack and I've just fussy cut the, the butterflies and fussy cut the lovely parrot there I've put some of these real um, real looking fake uh, leaves and then I've just stamped a couple of sentiments and then inside, if you lift it up, you can write your message inside here and the whole thing then folds flat and fits into, this will fit into a 55 by 55 envelope. So these are dinky, these are little cards, so I haven't gone very big with this one today. So what you need is entirely up to whatever, up to you, it depends on what you have in your stash. So I have already done a lot of it because you don't need to see me kind of fussy cut, but that is my topper. So this is this piece here because this is actually done separately so I've already done that and this is the other beautiful um, parrot that's on the same paper and then these are the same butterflies which are fussy cut and then I've just curled them up with my finger and my thumb just to kind of lift them and again just nestled behind there I've put those real leaves and put my sentiment everything's on some foam on these bits the, the bird and the sentiment here is on some foam adhesive and the rest is just stuck down with my wet glue Okay, so what you want to do is grab your largest circle dies or any cutting system you have. So a lot of you know I've got the, the X-cut cutting circle and I've also got the X-cut cutting system and those circles are bigger. So if you do want to do something that's more like 6x6, 7x7, 8x8, then use any of those tools if you have them. But this is entirely up to you. You can make it any size you want. So I've got the largest from this particular nest of circle dies that I've got. And this one measures, uh, so we are looking at a four and a three quarter diameter. Okay, so if you want to do that same kind of dinky size that I've got, that is the size that you want to work with. Now you want to grab yourself a piece of cardstock and you want to make sure that whatever circle you're using can fit like this and then just put a pencil mark there and then again it needs to be able to fit your circle on it twice side by side okay so what we want to do first of all I've just done that pencil mark there and I don't really want to do that right so all you want to do is score a line so obviously you can use your scoreboard for this but if you don't have a scoreboard just um, use your ruler and a uh, stylus but I'm going to just grab my scoreboard here along the longest side making sure again that this will fit there so I'm going to do it there wherever the top is just roughly do a score line okay doesn't have to be right up to it just do a score line like so and then fold the card in half okay um, grab my bone folder okay and just burnish that and just get rid of that then what you want to do is I'm just going to bring in my die cut machine pop this down okay and you want to bring the die so that it comes over the edge and just reveals a little bit so you can see through so if I just bring that plate up you can just see there's the top of my card I'm bringing that circle down so you can just see tiny amount of my board underneath okay doesn't matter that it's not in the middle of this because it's a circle it, it just doesn't matter but as long as you fold it in half because you're going to cut through both pieces but it does need to overhang slightly because that's going to be this bit here it needs to connect so this is what we're making these two pieces here and you can see that bit there so once you've got that in and you're happy that you've got it where you want it just run that one through So 
if you've got a good die cutting machine it should still cut through the two pieces of cardstock you just need to run it through maybe back and forth a few times so now you will have this and because you had your got a bit of glue there get rid of that because you had your die slightly overhanging it's meant that that whole piece has stayed connected and that's what we want okay now what you want to do is with your circle is fold it in half now I can just line up my um, kind of pretty edged detail here but you just want to make sure that it's in half make sure I've got that in the right way is it that way that's the way like so and again okay so now I've just folded that in half and there is our easel so then it can fold flat or it can pop up okay so really really is simple now what you want to do again is that same size circle is die cut it again in my case I've done it in the same colour card and then that is what I've then decorated with this so this is that same die cut circle and then I've just done my little topper here so now what we're going to do is stick everything down so as I always say easel cards are so easy <laughs> easel cards are easy they are so simple to do and they're a great transitional kind of fun fold card if you're new to paper crafting then an easel card is a good kind of next step um, along with like a gatefold card, those kind of cards, they are very straightforward. This bottom half piece is where we want to glue, okay, so I'm just going to splodge some glue on there. Do not go over that line, otherwise it will not fold, so where I've gone a bit heavy with my glue there, I'm just going to spread that out a bit with my finger, like so. And then, with this, you want to make sure that you've got it nice and I've already decorated it so I just need to make sure that that's all lined up but also I need to line it up with those patterns on my edge of my circle. If you've got a normal circle it's going to be obviously much much easier. And stick that down and basically it would just be gluing onto that half of the circle underneath which means when you lift it it will still fold and you can see now how that's going to sit up. Okay so just go over the other side there and just make sure that's all nicely stuck down. So next, I'm going to then decorate the inside. So I've got a, another die cut, and this is just the next size down from this nest of circles that I've got. And also what I've stuck in the middle there is I've die cut this circle, which is another nest of plain circle dies, and I've just done this darker piece from the same paper pack, which you can't really see on this one. You can see it on the top of there. That's it just behind. Just kind of lifts it a little bit, makes it pop. So again, it's entirely up to you how you want to decorate all of that but um, I just like to layer it up and it also gives it um, more thickness and weight to your card as well so now that bit I can stick down and I've got this nice like kind of perforated circle as well so I can just use that as my guide to make sure everything's lined up then whatever you want to have inside the card is entirely up to you, but it needs to be your stopper. So it needs to be raised on foam adhesive. It needs to be lifted so that when you lift this up, it will sit there and kind of it can wedge itself behind it. So like a door stop, that's the kind of thing you're creating. So I've already popped that all on some foam adhesive and I've already put that on the back. So I'm just gonna remove that and then just, I know I want mine to kind of hog that perforated line keeping it again you are working with a circle so when it comes to something straight it's a little bit more trickier but there we go that's good enough and that's the card done <laughs> it is so fast I mean I know I've done all that decorating off camera I just it's very straightforward you don't need to see me do it but for the bit inside in the middle I've just die cut that same smaller circle and then just fold this in half like so and then cut it in half and just remove a little bit from each side just so you're kind of getting rid of that folded line that score line just like I say when you use the scoreboard kind of cut away your score line and by doing that it will make it sit or it will allow it to sit better so if I show you that see I've just taken out by taking that out it folds much much nicer um, and then just stick them. I mean, you might want to write your message on it first or stamp something. It's entirely up to you. I'm keeping mine plain. Um, and then just stick near the line. You don't want to go on the halfway folded line there. Just near it. And again, 
and then kind of have that one just almost attaching but not quite. So there you have it, I really enjoy these. You can kind of knock them up pretty quickly and they are just so fun to decorate. I love working with circles, I find they're really nice. So there's that one, and if I can balance this one as well while I'm holding it, there's the other one. And from the side you can see they've got a really nice profile when they're set up and it's just great because they all fold completely flat as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and I hope you like these circle easel cards. As always, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.